everyone, welcome to Jason Explains Things. For just shy of three years and 50,000 miles, we've been exploring in and modifying Chris's 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. That's right. We have run that truck headlong into dirt, snow, sand. But beyond that, we've done almost every major modification to that thing. We fitted it for 35s, we re-geared it, we've wired lighting, we've done air, and so much more. And there's a video about each one. But today we are in glorious Southern California in Johnson Valley to test out the successor of your truck today, Chris put it through its paces. That's right, Chevy invited us out here. Did they listen to uh, the previous owners? Did they fix past issues? And did they make this the new king of midsize trucks? Chris, everybody, I think we should find out this way. Ha! <laughs> This video has no sponsor, but thanks to our friends at Chevrolet and AEV for making this possible. And thanks to all of you for watching and supporting the channel. This trip almost didn't happen. More on that later, but for now, let's get to California. He looks tired, everyone. Welcome, Chris. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> camera and Jason. <laughs> We're in beautiful Seattle. It's beautiful here. Can you tell? Well, that's it for Toyotas for this video. It's all Chevys from here. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sitting next to me by choice. That hurts my feelings. Welcome. Palm Springs. <laughs> so tomorrow I think is bison day, but we have an early preview here. This is the Silverado bison. So you have a lot of the AEV stuff on here. If you look underneath, you have the full skid plate, the new rear and front bumpers with the recovery points on there. Uh, yeah, you have the AEV wheels, which is pretty cool. It looks like a modified version of the Crestones, which is kind of neat. 275, 70, 18. Yeah, those are... These are 33 inch wheels. Those are 33s. Listen, Chevy, I love you very much. I don't know why you undersize everything. I, I'm very, very excited to see the Colorado tomorrow with 35s on it. I honestly didn't know this. These are 33s on a Silverado Bison. The trail adventure started the next day, but we did get to briefly test out a new Colorado ZR2 on 33 inch tires. So we actually just left the hotel. They gave us the keys. So we're doing a little bit of on-road driving right now until we get to some dirt road driving. Uh, what, are, what are some of your initial thoughts about just driving it compared mm -hmm. to yours? On-road manners are very nice. It's a little soft, which I kind of like. I, I've gotten used to it. The shocks haven't changed too terribly much. It doesn't feel like. Okay. At least on road. Interior is, is very different. It's, it's very extremely different. It feels stretched. Everything looks looks yep. really nice, feels really nice. <clears throat> the only thing that I that jumps out to me right off the bat is the hood. Like it's already hard enough to see out of our trucks that we own. This is just like you gotta have the cameras. I think you pretty much have to have the cameras. Well this one does have cameras. Well great, yeah. good. <laughs> Jump kicking and screaming into the camera future. This is a cool feature. I don't know if you've seen this feature, but it's very cool. In case you have someone who farts a lot mm. in the truck, uh -huh. there is an express every window down button. At Whoa! The same time, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. It's so hot. Uh, they don't apparently go back Roll up, up though. Roll it up, so, it's so yeah. hot. You have to do it yourself. But yeah, and all, all the nice air is yeah. gone. It's quiet. It's very quiet. It's extremely quiet. Very quiet. I'm not yeah. used to quiet trucks anymore because we keep adding things on top of it. And especially them off-road and shaking them to pieces. <laughs> 310 horsepower, right? And mm -hmm. 430 pound feet. Yeah. Torque, yeah. yeah, this is the top tune, of course, in every ZR2. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's and nice. Bison. You don't get a weak one. You're not allowed. You only get the big one. Good. Well, it's the same engine, just with different. All right, we're here. This is listen. This is great. Again, from an owner's perspective. Yeah. The old four-wheel drive was over here behind the steering wheel. You couldn't see it. It looked like a light switch. It was identical to the light switch. <laughs> it was hopes and prayers. So they've changed that. <laughs> it's down right in the middle now. Very easy to access. So if we want to go into four high, bam, Boop. just like that, you get a little notification. You're in four high there. Sweet. But check this out. What? I know you're a fan of modes. I do like Jason, modes. So. Right here, uh -huh. we can go from normal, which we're in right now. We don't like, we don't want to be normal. Off-road. Oh, whoa, which is pretty cool, but since we're in the desert, we're gonna tow I haul. assume we want to be here. I 
think we're where they took this picture, and then we're going. <laughs> we might be where they took this picture, <laughs> and then we're gonna uh, go have some fun. Are you ready? I want to have fun too. Yeah, sure. What about ja <laughs> what about Jason? I want to drive. You have to let me drive. I mean, soon. Holy spicy biscuits, Batman! Yeah, she is spicy. It's a gravel road here. Washboard action. Ho, 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 ho! Ah, that's amazing. Yeah, she's a wow. she's a Baja beast. All right. Wow. Buddy. All right, buddy. Are you My ready? turn. My turn. Yeah. Well, thank. It's thank a, you. It's a short course. Yeah. I get to drive. It's a Christmas miracle. Wow. There's no oh, touchy brakes. It might be a little different than a Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, it might be different. Whoa. Does this have the hydraulic uh, I don't know if the ZR2 does. Bumps I know off the Bison. I think yeah. that's a Bison thing. Wow. You call my brakes touchy. These brakes are touchy. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Good brakes. And we're going to... That's the... it. It's over. Is that it? Oh, no. <laughs> I, oh, I, that's I, all you gave me? <laughs> I, I didn't get hardly ah! any more than that. I didn't get hardly any You got any like more. one corner. I did. I got like a one corner. Before. Oh, my goodness. The Colorado ZR2 is great. It was the most dynamic truck to drive out of the entire event, and I'm excited to do more with it in the future. But we all know why you're here. It's bison time. Oh my God. You know, I'm gonna start a detailing company and just follow these guys around. <laughs> That's good business right there. You have five underbody skid plates, the front radiator one, the engine, the TKs, fuel tank, and the rear diff. The truck is one inch wider, one and a half inch taller on 35 inch tires, 17 inch beadlock capable wheels. We have a vertical spare tire in the back. We hit the road for Laser Town in Johnson Valley, California, famous for hosting King of the Hammers. It was a great time to compare the on-road performance of the Bison versus the ZR2 and to feed the gram, as the kids say. No cap. <laughs> right? How does it feel compared to the ZR2 yesterday with the on 35s? Uh, it's it's not as spicy. We were talking to one of the Chevy reps yesterday uh, at dinner, and we got some information right off the bat. This has not been re-geared to fit 35s, so it's the same gear ratio. And it drives nice. I mean, it's 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 got it's got get up and go. It's definitely not as much. But oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Influencers! Influencers everywhere! Turbo Ford the is four cylinder is, a, is a unique piece. It's for a sure. big four cylinder. Though. It is I mean, a big cylinder. Almost yeah. oh, you know, 2.7 liters is, is is large by now standards. My V6 is a 36. Right. So, and yeah. and mine's a 35. Yeah. Jason Cole, we are about to drive uh, pre-production limited run off-road trucks in Johnson Valley, California. That's about to happen. Life is weird. Life is really weird. But and, cool. And great. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be here today. <laughs> I was not, I was not supposed to be here today. And here we are. And here we are. And, uh, and, and, it's, and it's a little, single tier? it's a little, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. maybe. Chris, what? Chris. <laughs> so we just pulled into Laser Town in Johnson Valley. We got all the trucks lined up. Chevy is lowering the air pressure. I think they said down to about 2025. We're right, getting ready to get rolling. Yeah. Very excited. Here we go. Yeah, you can hear the hydraulic bump stuff. You stops. can hear them connecting, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so smooth, dude. Yeah. They hit and then you just go. <laughs> Whoa! this again and we're back and we're back baby we've trained Woo! for this <laughs> yeah, sand impressions yeah, I mean, similar yeah I mean, it did great just floated right on them yeah about power power on 35 Power's speed. good man the, yeah. the torque is good the torque is obviously better than my truck and right. it, it it helps at this low speed you know when you got to get up on it really quick it, it's very responsive already one thing so yeah truck needs snorkel Snor snorkel snorkel always got to have it got a big hole for a snorkel ladies what? and gentlemen High speed is fun, but the rocks are where the bison really shines. Both Chris and I got to do a lap of this challenging trail. And apparently, Chevy didn't mind us testing the trail armor. 
All right, we're going to start our rock climbing. So the terrain mode will enable the one pedal drive. So it means oh. that you forget about your brake pedal and you use only throttle. Okay. Nicely done. Dude, go. How does it feel compared to? Uh, last time? I mean, it's it's super controllable. It it feels the same in in some ways. Honestly, uh -huh. like it it <laughs> the boron sounds the same when it hits a rock. <laughs> turns out, so that's comforting in a weird up. way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. little bit right here. Here's one. That's a skid plate. It, for as loud as it was, it's like, it's a little scratch this big. Tink. This is an experience, you guys. It's challenging to, to see out, but the camera system is really good, but you have to rely on it, or, or a spotter. Obviously, their spotters are fantastic. They're doing a great job. I don't, I don't feel nervous about it at all. You feel like you're in a tank. You feel like you're in a truck tank. Once you get the feel of terrain mode, it's uh, it's very repeatable. Uh, you feel very much in control, but uh, at the beginning, it was weird. That one, and then one more. There it is. Cool. That's the same oh, one. Look, you did the same that was thing. the same one. I might say that was worse than mine. Oh, it. <laughs> I'm gonna get out and look at something real quick. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. I did do it yeah, to you, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's. Oh. We had the crazy opportunity to off-road in the all-new Chevy Silverado 2500 Heavy Duty Bison. This spot looks like it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> this broke our brains because a truck this big shouldn't be doing this, but it is. We'll have a separate video about that coming soon. Quick and dirty walk around of the new <laughs> 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. We're gonna start at the front. You gotta mention the flow type. So this is to get as much air as possible into that new 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo, which sounds really cool, by the way. So we have the new bumper. This is again, the AEV bumper. You can pull that front license plate off. It is winch ready. Really nice fog lights built into this guy, which is pretty cool. AEV Crestone-ish wheels. I think they're kind of a new design, but obviously more importantly, 35 inch from the factory. Thanks AEV. <laughs> I did so much work. Anyways, <laughs> now with the 35s, they couldn't fit it under anymore, so it comes again with the vertical tire carrier. You don't have to add it, it just comes with it, because why not? Continue around to the end. Do you feel dumb? No, I feel like I did my work, and now you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> we have the rear metal bumper as well with the big recovery points. Curiously, and we did notice this, yep. this guy does not have the punch outs for the chase lights anymore, so you're gonna have to figure out something else if you wanna do that. So that's a, that's a, that's a mark against. It's a sad, it's cause listen, cut to videos of we us. We will. Chase lights are important and needed. Uh, dampen bumper, more cameras in the back. You have the cool little thing that all the Colorados have. You have the little stow package thing here, which is, Dust proof. We we have verified that, <laughs> which is pretty cool. With intent, with uh, thorough testing today. Thorough testing today. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, the structure is different on the vertical tire carrier. This is something I ran into with my truck. I called around to a million places to see what cabs and racks would work on it. With the old one, most of them didn't. We have a video about that. But they have completely redesigned it, so there's no hardware on the top portion of the bed. So you can put probably just about anything on this, which is super rad. You have, of course, and we definitely tested them. You do have all the sensors on this new truck now, but we do also have uh, metal uh, bash plates on the back. With plastic covers, with right? With plastic covers, which for some reason Chevy left on. I really don't know why. Uh, <laughs> they shouldn't have because they're really messed up. Now. They're messed up in the front too. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a quick and dirty walk around of the 2024 Chevy Colorado Bison. Oh, and a sunroof as well. Final thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's hard to have words. This was yeah. an amazing event. A big, obviously, big thanks to Chevy for yeah. sending us out here. Huge gratitude to all of you who've been watching us, however long it is, whether it's a, a week, 
or up to nearly six years. Thank you so much because of you, because of your comments. Even like the audience might not be the biggest, but people are involved. And because of that, Chevy noticed, and that's why we're here. So thank you so much. Chris, thank you so much. I, I uh, brother from another mother, I guess is the word I'd say. And uh, thank you to the big guy upstairs, because without that, that, this wouldn't happen either. And it's just, it's hard. It's really cool. I wasn't supposed to be here today. More on that later. <laughs> We have to go back where it rains a lot. Sadly, we have to give the keys back. <laughs> and more to come. Here. And more to come. <laughs> I'm not going to say, we can't say what it is right, quite yet, but there are more things planned. So, yeah. yeah, here we go. Like, share, subscribe, all that bull crap. Until next time, God bless. Don't forget to do yourself. We have to, we have to give. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. <laughs>